Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines, the Chelsea Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So episode 2, as you probably saw in the first video, we got the foundations of the road down. We placed the first part of the sort of housing estates around the stadium. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to expand out a little bit. We're going to skip out the detailing today and just try and get a bit more of the foundation down. A bit more of the um, buildings and housing areas built up. It's going to be a lot of um, building up of these houses. And I think what we're going to do is probably just do a section at a time. And then I'll go back and detail it. Maybe off screen. Not sure really. We'll, we'll see how it all goes. Now I was doing a little preparation for, for this video and it's, I mean I looked at the maps, I looked at what I've done and the roads, they, they're, they're all there but it's a bit difficult to fit all the houses in into the right positions, um, especially if we're trying to keep this to scale as best we can so I apologise if some of the houses I build are actually yours and it's not quite the right position or some of the buildings aren't quite right. I apologise now, but it's the best of what we can do with what we've got today. Now one introduction I've made since episode 1 is the road name labeler. And I thought this is a great way for one, for me to actually keep on track of what I'm building. But two, just to make it more realistic, we can actually talk of where we're going and, and the guys that know this area well will be able to work out what I've designed. and and to let me know how well I'm doing and perhaps if I miss bits out you can let me know what you want me to add in etc. The detailing is down to you guys, I'm happy to go full blast with this like I have been in the British Challenge but we can do it as basic or as quickly as possible, whatever you like. So we're going to jump into a short time lapse just whilst I label some of these roads and get a bit more of the housing down so we'll catch up shortly. Okay, so that's a bit more of the housing areas built up um, around the stadium and the difficulty I've found has been finding the correct size buildings to create the sort of more flatty and sort of apartment areas. I've studied the workshop and tried to find the most suitable, there's a lot of decent assets on there but not many that really suit the London theme that we're building here and 
Some of them are a little bit overkill, but we've managed to work around it. For example, this area here, using the Move It mod, we're able to make it look a little bit more realistic. And just try, try our best to get this as, as good as we can. So one thing I'm going to have to do as well is once we've got all these buildings in place, we're going to have to really just force the upgrades if we're not able to do it naturally. Um, because most of these terrace houses you can see from here above these apartments, they're still level 1 and yes the terrace houses are in this area but they're a little bit more upper market than what these are sort of portraying in their, in their design. So I'm not sure how we'll come across that just yet. But for now, I just want to get everything laid out, get the detailing in, and then we'll come to that after. If we need to upgrade each one, we'll have to do so. But if we can make a, well, if we can make the area a bit more rich in terms of value, that's going to help massively. Um, another thing as well is getting down the schools and the sort of services. I guess we are going to have to try and place some of these in. We. I'm not sure if I can find a way of finding out where they are actually are in this area but if not we're just going to have to try our best and just place them around and just put those in where we see fit otherwise this area is going to pretty much catch fire and everyone's going to die so we want to make this still livable and, and sort of make the game play with this area as well. So we're going to move on to the industrial area now, just below, well in between um, Michael Road and the Harwood Terraced area. And there is the old gas works, so I want to build up some of the industrial areas around it first. Um, I'm just going to have to sort of lay down standard um, industrial um, placements here. I would use the Rico mod for some of these, but there's not really that many that look the right sort of model for them, and also they're a lot bigger than the area I've got to work with. So we're going to start here by getting in some of the um, gas works. It's actually I'm going to end up using the water treatment sort of buildings, I think, in this area, but we're going to try and get this as as close as we can to sort of the design. I know the road is a little bit different here in the bottom right-hand corner. But I want it to look realistic from a high point of view, really. So we'll put this in this corner here, and already from what I can see here, and looking in the Google Maps, we are getting a very good um, comparison between the two areas now. So we'll replace <coughs> replace this one with a smaller one because this one, is, the third one, is actually a little bit smaller. And what we're going to do. So we'll fix all these up, at least we've got a bit of sort of water treatment in this area as well, which was which will always be handy. We can link this back to the upper part of the map to the British Challenge as well. But what we're gonna do now, there's a lot of piping area around this, so we're gonna add those in around to sort of replicate what I can see here on the map. And bearing in mind I am using the current Google Maps, so if anything's changed since then, I haven't been in this area for a little while, so Apologies if anything's disappeared or completely been renovated. I'm just working from what I can see on Google Maps. So we'll fill in a little bit more of the industrial zoning over here in this corner. There's a few buildings over here. Uh, there's a few larger warehouses in this bottom zone here. Um, so we could possibly... Let's see what builds up here could possibly use some of the Rico buildings in this corner actually. Let's have a look what we've got. It's just in terms of the size. If there were smaller warehouses it would be perfect but whilst we've got these pipes out let's just put these down here. So I'm going to try and follow as best I can what I can see on Google Maps which is a pipe along here and round there and it does go a little bit more up but we've got buildings there now so we're just going to put the over the road hanging pipe just oops so I have to do this manually I think yeah let's put that on here just there and then it stops just around here just off this mini road so we'll put that there and 
there's a little bit of piping area here. I'm not going to be able to copy it exactly because of the, the actual pipes I've got don't suit it. But we'll do a little bit of a mash of pipes here just to sort of replicate this little area here. So we'll put that there. Just make things look a little bit more interesting. I can go to that bit. And... Da -da -da. A little bit of pipe that comes out here a little bit more and we'll end these off just here here and here okay that's looking a little, little bit more realistic Do a few little ones here just to create a bit more of a massive pipage and one there okay so the buildings that are built up here are the UK warehouses which are really nice but these here are more factories and, and sort of warehouses so let's see what we can find on the Rico mod so that's gonna be too thin that's way too big that isn't bad I like that let's put that in here there's actually two two little factories here and yes this is they're still a bit overkill but for what we have to work with, I think we can get away with it here. That's not too bad. And da -da -da. There are a few in a line here, but I think these might be a bit too big. There is actually a little road as well that goes in here, but I'm not sure if we're going to have the space. So I might have to go back onto the workshop and just see if I can find a, any smaller sort of warehouses that we can fill in here. Even if they're not as detailed as these models, we're going to have to find something just to just to add into these areas to make it more realistic. I'd rather have a factory or warehouse where they are warehouses rather than the UK. Um, sort of buildings which are they do look amazing but if we're trying to replicate this area we need to do it as best we can so the last part that I'm going to finish off here in this part two of the Chelsea challenge is just put a bit of the concrete down over here and we'll put some of the um, the large decors as well around just to create that sort of industrial area feel to it look rather tasty once we've come to detailing so at the moment they it's all look very basic at the moment it's not at the level of what I tend to do on my designs but for the time being that's what we're gonna do we get a bit of detailing after so I think we will end that here so thanks for watching guys we'll head on to part three uh, later next week and I'll leave you with a little overview of what we've done so far on the Chelsea Challenge. I will catch you in my next video. Share and like, that'd be great. And we'll speak then. All the best.